guys and welcome to my Christmas special. It's bag and board issue number two. It's the 21st of December today um, and I'll be honest with you the only reason it's my Christmas special is because there's a tree in the background. Um, apart from that there's going to be no pantomime or crackers or anything like that but it seemed a good idea. Um, anyway um, First of all, I need to apologise again. It's been quite a while since I did uh, Bag and Board issue number one. Um, but obviously, with it being um, Christmas coming up, um, everybody's the same, everything's going crazy, presents to buy, all that kind of thing. So I've not had a lot of time to even read my comics, um, never mind um, get myself together to make a video. But um, everything's basically done now. All the presents are bought, the tree's up, um, everything we needed to do. So I've got a little bit more time, so I thought um, I would get a video uploaded uh, before Christmas and then I've got about 10 days off um, off work. So um, I'm going to try and do another couple more videos while, um, while it's kind of the Christmas New Year period. Um, I've still got my um, Frank Miller Daredevil run uh, to show you, so I'm, I'm definitely going to get that done sometime over Christmas New Year. Anyway, enough prattling on, um, let's get to showing you um, what you want to see, which is some comics and some other things. This um, doesn't involve my regular pull. Um, what, what I'm going to show you today is basically some extra things that I've picked up, um, kind of things that I'm trying to build up, runs, um, things towards that, key issues, and just some other bits and bobs. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so the first thing I've got to show you is uh, a bit of a bargain that I picked up a couple of weeks ago. This is a trade paperback from Big Dog Inc. Publications who do the um, Penny For Your Soul series and this is the complete mini-series of Joan of Arc. Um, sorry, apologies um, if the camera's not very very steady it's because I'm actually holding it in my hand my tripod collapsed on me um, so yes yeah, so this is the trade paperback of Joan of Arc um, the reason I picked this up was that I was um, looking on a place in space website when the new issues were out a couple of weeks ago and this was priced at £1.50 um, I think it's about an $18 book and I knew it had been mispriced um, and I think it should have been maybe £10.50 or £11.50 and it was just a pricing error so anyway I put it in my basket and um, paid for it and the sale went through okay and a couple of days later it turned up um, I fully expected to get an email to say that it had been priced in error and that they wouldn't be honouring the sale but um, here it is and it looks pretty interesting so I'm looking forward to giving that a read Then from my local comic shop, um, he was selling off some um, hardback books by this company called PS Art Books, who do um, kind of reprint, reprints of some um, classic comics um, from many years ago. Um, and in the box, he had some of these showcase books. Um, and looking at it, these were originally. This was originally published for um, London Super Comic Con last year, two two thousand thirteen. And what it is, um, it's basically about. I think it's about yeah, one hundred and eighty pages, and it's kind of part catalogue for some of the hardback books that this company produces. But there's also um, quite a lot of it that's. Um, some of the actual reprints of the comics so I thought if I take a look at this and if I like these kind of samples um, I would pick pick some of the um, hardback books up because they've been reduced from about £30 to £10 each so there's some really uh, classic stuff there and it's all from a company called um, Harvey Horrors um, and being a big fan of horror myself I thought it looked really interesting so anyway that's something good I'm gonna gonna have to read over the um, the Christmas period right moving on to books um, when I've been on the YCC 
Facebook page recently I've seen a lot of people showing off some books that I really like, really like the look of so um, I had a look on Comicana Direct website and I managed to pick up these three copies of Uncanny X-Men uh, and I think I paid £1.50 for each of them um, this particular cover I actually saw a couple of weeks ago when I was looking at a book that's recently been published which is 75 years of Marvel covers and I was in my local branch of the works on the high street and I was just flicking through this book it's a really nice book and I think I'll probably pick it up when I get some Christmas money um, because it's been reduced from about £30 to 14 .99. anyway when I was flicking through uh, I saw this cover and it really caught my eye so when I was on Comic Con Direct um, I had a look if they had it and sure enough £1.50 so I picked that one up which is Uncanny X-Men number 503 part of the Manifest Destiny storyline then I also picked up number 509 which is a fabulous cover uh, apologies if there's any glare here really really like that and then I also picked up Uncanny X-Men number 532 I actually already have a copy of this um, which I purchased a couple of years ago from Dynamic Forces and it was a signed issue um, signed by Greg Land um, but I actually keep that in a short box that I have where I've got all my signed comics so I wanted to get an unsigned copy to keep with my actual Uncanny X-Men run so I was really happy to get that for the price I did and then um, this one I picked up a little while ago um, and it's a copy of Uncanny Avengers and it's a variant cover um, it's Uncanny Avengers issue 20 and you may or may not know that the Scarlet Witch is one of my um, favourite characters so when I saw this um, I just had to have it and it's brilliant now another um, Greg Land cover ok moving on um, a couple of weeks ago DC released a special edition of the Batman 66 book which was Batman 66 The Lost Episode um, and this is actually a story that was written by um, Harlan Ellison and I believe it was actually written with the intention that it was going to be made into one of the uh, Batman series from the 1960s but never got used um, and if it had have been it would have been the um, first appearance in the TV show of um, Two-Face anyway I picked up the uh, regular cover but I also picked up this variant cover um, which seems to have been going up in price recently for some reason um, it's a nice cover and it's by um, Garcia Lopez is it um, I can never remember the guy's name something like Jose Luis Garcia Lopez anyway that's that and then a couple of weeks ago I was watching an episode of Gotham on the TV and there was the first appearance of Victor Zaz in the TV show so I decided to do a bit of research to see when his first appearance in the comics um, world was and it turns out that it was in this um, issue one of Batman Shadow of the Bat, The Last Arkham. So I had a look on eBay and I managed to pick up this really, really nice copy. Um, absolute name mint copy. And I think I only paid about £5 for it, including postage. And it also includes the first appearance of Jeremiah Arkham as well. Um, so that was a nice little buy. And then carrying on with my... Um, kind of key issues from the Uncanny X-Men from the uh, John Byrne Terry Austin era I picked up another from the um, Dark Phoenix saga and this is issue number 132 um, again um, like all the other issues that I've picked up recently from these Bronze Age comics this is a really 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 nice condition so very happy to pick that up and then the most recent um, purchase that I made that arrived yesterday and if you're um, friends with me on Facebook you'll have seen a picture of this it's my copy of um, Iron Man number 128 um, which is the 
very very famous demon in a bottle issue and cover uh, probably one of the most famous comic covers that there has been um, of all time really right that's it guys um, that's bag and board issue number two my Christmas special all wrapped up I hope you enjoyed it if you did um, thumbs up um, leave a comment or if you're not already subscribing to my channel uh, please feel free to subscribe um, like I said earlier I'm going to try and get a couple more videos uploaded over Christmas New Year um, so keep a look out for those in the meantime I hope everybody has a fantastic Christmas and a very happy and peaceful New Year so um, until then till next time um, take care and be nice to each other